there was an estate sale opening at nine and they were super strict about the time and they're running late. They let us like line up to the edge of the garage. You can look and see what was in the garage. And so of course I was already starting to look stuff up. I spotted two new sealed in the plastic collector Yahtzee games and I was gonna grab both of them. They're both marked at 10. They're worth like 40 to 50. Unfortunately, I went to grab one. I already had something else in one hand and some guy grabbed the other one. So I didn't get both of them, but I'll show you that. Somehow I got out of there uh, only paying $22. So I'm gonna show you the stuff that adds up to $22. Then everything else beyond that, I'm just saying was free. <laughs> and so the guy uh, just gave me a really good deal on the stuff that I got. And I got a free bin to carry all the stuff in too. All right, so here is the Yahtzee game that I got. It is the 40th anniversary collector's edition. Paid $10 for this. Like I should said, it should go for you know 35 to 50, especially that being Christmas time. I'm gonna get this listed today. I'm really disappointed I didn't grab the other one. I was kind of already thinking in my head, I'll bundle them, get a good deal on both of them. Paid two bucks for this still new sealed in the plastic or new and it's, yeah, it's in its original plastic is what it looks like to me. Um, these are like Tupperware snack cups. It's a set of four. Not gonna bring super huge profit on these, but the fact that it's new should be good. I still have lots to learn about pots and pans, but I do know that like one of the number one brands you wanna watch out for is Revereware with a copper bottom. And that's what these are. Paid five for this one. It does have the bottom. You can see it's not in the best of condition. Gonna have to decide if I'm gonna just sell it like this or if I'm gonna spend the time to get, I guess it's like steel wool and I can't remember what, what you use to clean it, but to clean them up, this is, this is the three quart one made in USA and it's got the lid with it. Two more Revere wear of this one. Uh, it's in better condition, I think, and no lid on this one. This one is super old, or maybe just like su a ton of use, has the lid. You can just barely make out that it says Revere wear, but it does say it. Like I said, it's got the lid on it. Um, don't know if I'm gonna lot these all together or sell them one by one. I'm gonna have to look in to see what's good on those. Paid $5 for the pair of these, so $2.50 each. All right, so there was the 22 bucks that I paid. Everything after this, I'm saying I got for free. They had room after room after room of books. Um, most of them though, were ones like this where they don't have a scannable barcode. I already kind of get bored when I'm scanning books. And so especially when you have to type them in, I get really bored. There's already a ton of book scanners or, you know, booksellers there. And so I just did a few, I found this one. I just wasn't really into it today. Um, but I can't remember what this one's going for, but hopefully uh, it should go for pretty good money. Got it for free. Got this Brooks stainless steel film, uh, like. I don't know if it's like a canister or what, but it was free. <laughs> I think this is Donegan Optical. Um, it's like a magnifying glass. It's supposed to have a light. The light is not working, and I don't even know what size light bulb that is. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna re try to find a way to replace light bulb before I sell it, or just sell it and say the light's not working. Um, this has a pretty good following. This brand has a pretty good following. I was able to scan the cover of this book. Um, this title looks like it should be going for about 25 bucks on Amazon. I didn't even look these up. These are Kim plastic playing cards. Um, I didn't count them. I just have picked up several of these and I still haven't listed any of them. So I think one day I'm just gonna obviously count all of them and either list them as a lot or individually. I haven't decided yet. Picked up a lot of four uh, Kodak Gold um, 35 millimeter film and expired in 2001. New sealed um, film and things like that can go for some pretty good money, especially if like you had to buy a camera and lotted this together. I don't really buy cameras though. I don't like the idea of having to test them and all that. So I'll likely just sell this as a set of four. Just found out uh, recently Vintage Rubbermaid has some you know pretty good sell through on eBay. I picked up two silverware like dishes or whatever. Um, I'm guessing that this one being that's blue will sell better than this kind of off-white one. Although I'm, I'm gonna have to clean them. You can see there's some dirt in there. Um, looks like it should go for maybe like 10 to 20 bucks plus shipping. Thought this was a pretty cool vintage thermos and it's really clean on the inside. It's got the stopper and everything. Um, I don't remember what it's going for, but it was worth getting for free. <laughs> Last up is this vintage brass horse head clip. I don't know what you're supposed to clip together with it, but this, uh, I use my Google Lens on it to look it up. It's selling for like 25 to 35 plus shipping on eBay. As far as garage selling goes for today, 
actually slept in for the first Saturday in months and months and months. When I was looking at the different garage sale apps that I use, I just didn't find any last night that looked really good. And so I just thought I'll sleep in and see what happens when I wake up in the morning. When I woke up, it, I think several have been posted on Facebook. So I went out, um, let me show you what I got at different garage sales, an estate sale, and one thrift store. So I'm definitely kind of switching modes into wintertime sourcing where I just source things that don't command near as much value, um, except for this, which I'll talk about in a minute, that shirt. Um, but anyway, I'm just, it, I like to list things on eBay. I like selling. And so I just like for something to do. So I'm willing to take less money in the wintertime. I got these three Corningware lids. Now, if it was just one, I wouldn't have done it because it wouldn't have been worth it. But I'm going to lot the three together and should get maybe like, you know, seven to 10 bucks for these. I paid a quarter each, so 75 total in these. I've started making second passes at garage sales uh, now that it's winter time. I don't usually do that. Usually I'm on the move. I make one pass at things at a garage sale and then I move on to the next one. But since there's just so, so few, I made a second pass and I actually saw something that I missed the first go round. It is a vintage Levi's denim shirt in a men's. And what's cool about this one is it has pearl snaps. And so that should bring some value. It is, I'm gonna call it distressed, meaning like there's like a tiny little hole right there, but kind of with Levi's sometimes that look is actually uh, more desirable. And so hoping to get good money on this one. And I paid, I paid $1 for this shirt. Picked up some free shoelaces at that sale, which I was happy to get. I'm always buying shoes, and there's one thrift store I go to that they remove the laces, so anytime I can pick up free shoelaces, that's a good thing. These look like they're brand new. I was waiting on my mom uh, for her to get ready to go to garage sales with me, and while I was doing that, I went to one thrift store just right across the street from my house. It's really convenient. There's actually several thrift stores by my house, which is kind of dangerous. I spotted these NYX Golf sunglasses, and... I don't think they're brand new, but they do look well taken care of. There's still the paper in there, several lenses that go with the glasses. Pretty sure they're vintage, and several of these have sold on eBay for about 20 to 30, and I paid a dollar for this. Some new sealed in the plastic um, register roll tape. Only one of these is sold on eBay in the last 90 days, and it was two packages like this, and it went for like 30 to 40 bucks, so I'm probably gonna ask about 20 on this one, paid a buck. I went and picked up my mom and we went uh, to different garage sales after that an estate sale picked up uh, at this next sale a four and a six pound neoprene dumbbell weight paid a dollar a piece on these so i'm not going to get a whole lot special especially since i have to ship them going to ship them in a medium flat rate so to save on shipping got to clean these up these might have not been worth it after the time i put in to clean them up and probably won't get a whole lot for them but i just have a really hard time passing up uh, like dumbbells and weights when I see them because the resale value is, or they're just selling really fast right now. Another distressed Levi's purchase. It is like one of the trucker jackets. You can see some holes there. That's probably okay. This unfortunately is a red tab Levi's instead of the orange. I think the orange you get more money on this. If you can get one that is blanket lined uh, or like the Sherpa lined, that's really good. This is just the basic one and it is a size 54R, and I only paid $2 for it. So if I could even get 20 to 25, that'd be good on this one. At that same sale, I got these three things. Um, I just recently learned that Harry Potter hardback sets are pretty valuable. Like you can get, I think, 60 to 80 bucks for a complete set. And so I had in my mind, I'm gonna start looking out for Harry Potter hardback books. This sale only had one, and so this is book number six, and so I'm one seventh of my way on to having a complete set. <laughs> if the price is right, it's like an automatic reflex. I pick up handheld electronic games. Um, what I do with these, if they're not very valuable on their own, which some of them can be very valuable on their own, um, but anyway, I save them up and then I lot them together at some point and hopefully somebody that likes a little handheld electronic games gets a good deal on, you know, lots of different ones. Paid a dollar for this one. Couldn't believe this was sitting there kind of late in the day. Paid a dollar for this. It is a Nintendo uh, DS. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it's broken or I don't know if it's working. It doesn't have the charger with it. There is a little piece, like there's a plastic piece right there that is not right there. So this doesn't stay up super easy. Um, so I'm obviously just going to have to sell this in for parts or not working, but you can still get like 10 to 15 bucks. Only paid a dollar for it. And the plus is that it came with 
Mario Pinball Land game. I still gotta look this one up. I'll sell this separately. All right, next we went to an estate sale. It had been pretty picked through and the house wasn't in great condition. It's kind of like one of those that you just don't even want to go inside. I was in their shed and I, I've really tried to start um, paying attention to looking everywhere whenever I'm picking. I'm really short and so I had to tell myself like, look high. And so I was looking on the very top shelf and there's all these rolled up posters. I've made some good money um, on a couple, or a poster and some maps in the past. And so I was hoping that it was you know, a really good poster or a map, nothing great, um, but I did pick up a couple pieces. I think this is considered a lithograph and I did a search of the photographer on this one or, or I did a search for whatever the name is down there and it actually has some sell through. This one's not in very good condition. Um, I only paid a dollar for this. Paid a dollar for this uh, print, I guess. Diamond Head by Cherkley as I think the artist on that one. And this one actually has some pretty good sales. I looked it up on Worth Point. It should sell for like at least 15 bucks. And this one's not in that bad a condition. Paid 50 cents for this one. This is a old cream of wheat advertising piece. It says, where the mail goes, cream of wheat goes. This is not super valuable either, but I only paid 50 cents for it. It is a Brahms ice cream scoop. And it looks like it should go for 10 to 15 plus shipping. Here is the best find of the day. This is Kraft, Vintage Craft Cheezersaurus Rex t-shirt. It's brand new. It just uh, came out of this package on a vintage uh, Fruit of the Loom tag. It's single stitch. So the story behind this one is there's this garage sale that my mom and I keep going to every weekend. Um, it's this lady that's cleaning out different storage units and every weekend we go and for the most part it's the same stuff but every weekend there's a few things that are new that we look up and are pretty valuable last weekend um, we got a vintage rolling stone shirt that's on auction and it ends today it's already up to 43 bucks we paid two for that one this shirt um i went over to the clothes i was like man everything looks the same but i kept flipping through and i saw this one i thought oh that's an awesome kind of all over print it's double-sided there's the back has this bag that goes with it she said she literally just took it out of this bag and that it had never been out of the bag before. And it came with also um, this pencil and pencil topper that's Cheezosaurus Rex, I guess. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sell this all together as a lot or a bundle or whatever. This shirt um, looks like it's selling for a minimum of $125. Some people um, had theirs marked up to like $200 and took a best offer, so I'm not sure what the offer was, but there is a for sure sold um, for $125 for just the shirt. So hoping since mine is in essentially brand new condition, it's got the pencil with it, um, I might start the auction at like $99 and just let it go from there. Sometimes I like to start auctions low, but on this one, I for sure want to get at least 100 for it since um, that's kind of what other people are, are getting. And so I was super happy, really excited to find this one. Um, it was late in the day and vintage t-shirts are one of my absolutely favorite uh, things to hunt for and to find. And they're just kind of thrilling when you get them.